Hey guys, I'm back today for a quick review. Today I want to review the Taddy Brothers backup camera. Now I recently reached out to Taddy Brothers and told them what I was looking for, which was a Bluetooth camera to connect on the back of my RV and be able to monitor it there in the cab of my pickup truck. Taddy Brothers said they had exactly what I needed and they sent it to me. Check it out. Okay, so skipping the unboxing and showing you the nuts and bolts of this system. This is obviously the mirror. The monitor comes up right here in this part of the mirror and there you have power pairing it with that button there, the menu, and then the volume control. On top you have the antenna, replaced with the antenna. Here's the antenna. I was wondering how that was going to work because your rear view mirror is close to the ceiling there in the truck, but that works because the antenna folds down. And on the back of the mirror, you see these spring-loaded brackets or clamps, and that's what clamps around your existing mirror. And this thing's supposed to fit on any size mirror. So looking forward to putting that thing on, see how that looks. Uh, looks just like, uh, from the front, looks just like a, a large mirror. So looking forward to trying that out. The way you wire that up is you have this power cord here, and you can go to your cigarette lighter or power supply, or you can hardwire it with this one, with just a bare positive negative, and then the same type plug hide those wires and you can keep it on there permanently. All right, and this is the camera. It is again, Bluetooth. It does have a little button here. That's for pairing the Bluetooth. And there's an antenna here connected to the wiring harness and then the positive negative. It does have a grommet so that you can uh, somewhat waterproof the hole where you insert the wire. So it looks pretty simple. I guess the hardest part is finding the wires to connect it to and the same for the mirror and then you have the instructions now the instructions are pretty simple uh basic i'm not sure you know uh, you got to have some a uh, little bit of diy knowledge before you start installing this thing but it's basic again the, it's a basic diy hookup uh, i probably won't use the instructions until i get to the uh, programming it uh, once i hit the menu on the screen once everything's connected and powered up, I'll go in, hit menu, and, and see what the options are there uh, once I try to power it up and, and uh, connect the Bluetooth. Now it does say here on the back, the monitor is a 4.3 inch monitor. So that's a pretty good size monitor, even though it's in the, the rear view mirror, that's a pretty good size monitor. And that will give me the options of looking at the back, at traffic behind me traveling down the road, as well as backing into the campsite. So if you want to look this particular camera up, Look up SKU number 39435. That is SKU 39435. You can find it there on the website at taddybrothers.com. Okay, so I've taken all of this assembly off of the travel trailer here. And you can see all this was gooped up really good with silicone. It was all sealed good. There's a pretty good void up in there, so I'm going to put all my excess wire back up in there. And I'm actually probably going to use a splicer to access this green wire. The green wire is the positive, and the white wire is negative. And then this brown wire, that's for the turn signal. Now, I've determined all that by using this multimeter, and uh, I was able to get the constant power there on the green and the white. I'm gonna splice in to the power here. Uh, before I do that, I drilled a hole here in the bottom of a tail light. You have to be really careful doing this. If you drill a hole in the bottom of your tail light, this plastic can crack very easily. Uh, I put this on a piece of wood and pushed against it with a drill bit very gently. Once it made the first few cuts, and started, started the hole, I put the drill in reverse and it took a lot longer to do it that way, but it won't grab on you in reverse. So it wore its way through and made a good cut there, good hole. But the purpose of that is, I'm gonna stick that grommet in that hole there and that will keep it weatherproof. So you won't have very little wire at all sticking out there that you'll see. And then I'm going to wire it up here and push the remainder of that wire back in that void there. All right, so first, I'm gonna put this wire through this hole here that I made and run it all the way up 
well, most of the way. Now the antenna, I may leave a little bit of the wiring here inside of the light fixture of the, the cover, just so I can leave that antenna out and exposed. I don't want to cause any interference. So I may leave that exposed there inside the light, just not put it back up in the void there in the, in the wall. All right, like I said, I'm gonna use this splicer and connect the positive to the positive. And that should be connected. Yep, good and snug. All right, and that's connected. So I wanna go cut on my lights and see if this thing powers up. Okay, so I plugged up a monitor here temporarily with the power cord they provided. And you see I have video. That camera is pointing up toward the canopy there. Um, just I don't have it installed yet. But I just wanted to show you that I have video. It's working already. I didn't have to pair anything again. It just hooked right up. So now that I know I have power, I can finish installing the camera. Okay, here I've already added one screw to the back plate just to hold it in place while I add the marine goop sealer to the other screws. Once I have those sealed up and in place, I will remove that first screw and add the sealer to it. And then I will cover that middle hole there with the wiring with plenty of the marine goop. That was sealed up really well when I removed it and I want to get it completely covered. I don't want any chance of any water seeping in anywhere. Okay, now I'm going to install the grommet into the hole that I drilled in the light cover. You need to do it carefully and gently. Make sure you don't crack the light cover and just use the small screwdriver to get the edge of the grommet started. And once you get it started, it should go pretty good and you will see that it's a perfect fit. That is a half inch hole and the grommet fit perfectly. Okay, so I've already temporarily installed the light cover there and you can see the wiring on the right side inside the light cover that is the antenna that's the only thing i didn't want to put back up inside the wall of the camper that's how the camera communicates with the monitor and i didn't want any chance of interference so that is protected from the weather by being inside the light cover yet it is uh, not completely covered or hidden inside a, a closed compartment so here i'm about to connect the camera to the tag but before i do that i want to make sure that everything fits up just right the camera fits perfectly under the light cover and above the tag and now I can attach the bracket that's on the back of the camera to the tag. It just attaches with two-sided tape and once you put that on it isn't going anywhere. There's no way it can fall out due to the tight fit but also it is attached to the back of the tag with the two-sided tape. So it's a good fit. It doesn't shake around. It's, it's solid and it does give you a good picture going down the road. Okay, here's some video clips of me using the camera going down the road, and you can see the truck behind me there. It is a good picture. It's not a perfect picture, but it is a good picture, and I can tell what's behind me. You can't really judge the distance uh, because of the fisheye lens there, but uh, you can tell what's right directly behind you. You can see traffic there. There's a truck over to my left. It's actually in the right there on the camera. Going down the road, old country road here, you can see that the video is a little bit jumpy. Here in a second, you'll see it flash right there. It was, there's a flash and that is, it says no signal. So once in a while, it will just like go out and then pop right back in the signal at just a split second. And it doesn't happen a lot, but it does happen once in a while. I'm guessing that's because uh, the monitor is there in my truck and the camera's at the end of a 31 foot travel trailer. So it's pretty good distance apart. Okay, here it is in use at night. Now you can see the lights are picked up really bright. The picture is not as good as it is during the day, but it is a good enough picture to see what's behind you. Uh, you won't be able to tell what type of vehicle it is due to the bright lights, but you can definitely see something behind you. And here it is on a two-lane road with a vehicle right directly behind me. The lights are picked up really bright, but you can still see the surroundings. You saw the overpass there and you saw a car pass, so it works really good. All right, guys, that's it. That is my review on the Taddy Brothers wireless backup camera with the rear view mirror monitor. I was really pleased with the ease of installation, the ease of setup, and the quality of the picture. 
I know nowadays a lot of new vehicles and travel trailers come with these things already installed. But if you don't have one on yours, I highly recommend Taddy Brothers. I think you'll be pleased with the equipment and the customer service. If you want to check out Taddy Brothers online, look in the description below for a link to their website as well as a link to this particular camera. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, have a great day.